Hello, today we are going to review and unpack an HS series HS110D drone. It is made by Holystone. Let's open this box today. So here is the drone which comes with the four blades. There is one camera on the front and this is the remote. There are four additional blades just in case if it something is damaged they give some replacement parts and these are the ones where it will protect the drone you can put it on the side of the drone so that if it hits anything then the drone will be protected this is the one that will protect your drone from the cover it is actually a cover of your drone this is a small screw they give you to just to fit the batteries and here you have an additional battery so one comes with inside the drone and this is the additional one uh, because the charge only stays for up to like 20 minutes or so uh, so you have to keep the spare one charged fully charged if you're going uh, for an outing and then taking some videos or photos you can take out this battery and then replace with the fully charged one there are two bases on which it lands and the side is a camera the camera side is called a head so whenever you are syncing your remote with this one just remember there is a head button there on the remote if it is headless then it does not matter but if it is with head then you have to keep it in the same direction on the left hand side you have it goes up and down on the right hand side the joystick goes left and right and there are a couple of buttons there one is the for the start one is for syncing this is the engine start this is uh, sync engine on the left and then speed control also there on the left hand side there are four batteries it's a double a battery you need alkaline batteries double a that does not come with the remote it have to purchase it separately so after you switch it on you need to pair it with your drone there is a button underneath the drone which you need to turn it on before you can pair it so this is the button I'm pressing it so now the drone is on the battery is on but it's not in pair so you see that red light blinking that means it is not paired on the left hand side you have the joystick that goes up and down you have to move it up and down to pair it After it pairs, the light changes. It becomes a kind of a purple, and then blinking light. And the front side, it has a like a white light. And then this is the start button. See the fan started. Now, if you press that up and down button, the drone will go up. So this is. The holder this is a phone holder you can actually fit it in your remote so that when you the drone is flying you can actually view uh, the drones view in your camera if you sync it with your phone then you can see it in your phone this is a charger they give you a USB cable uh, you just put this one end in the drone itself the other side in any USB charging port or maybe in the laptop as well so it doesn't matter so you can use any USB plug and then that would be sufficient for this to charge and it usually take like 45 minutes to one hour to fully charge it and that holds for like 10 to 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes of flying time So 
today I am going to uh, give a demo of it is flying so see the stability is not that great when it is on the air uh, you have to continuously adjust uh, the positions of it uh, there is an option to sink it and then place it in a stable uh, height and positions but if it is little windy it is very very difficult the drone is very light the winds pull it away to the other side and this is the top view from the drone as you can see the quality is not that great but a drone below dollar hundred uh, you cannot expect actually not much more than that so it is okay if you like this video please like and subscribe we will bring more videos like this